Alright, yo, so a lot of people's asked me, and I don't know what I'll do with this video because it might not uh, be suitable for YouTube or something. A lot of people's asked me about this Ruger PC carbine and 9mm and hunting deer with it. And I just want you to know it does just fine. This ain't the biggest buck in the world, and forgive the straps on his head, but uh, he's probably, and I hadn't weighed him yet, but just figure he's somewhere between 125, 135. Uh, I got a 110 pound doe a few weeks back and he was he's just a little bigger than that. But here's the shot placement. It was a hit shot. And I was actually aiming for kind of dead in the middle between the corner of the eye and the, the little bulge where the ear starts but this was a uh, and I'll mark it better later on but this was at least an 80 yard shot in woods uh, dropped him obviously dropped him right where he was and uh, no track job laid down and uh, just went and picked him up and I'll be honest with you I'm very happy now, I shot a coyote with this rifle the other day and uh, he hit the coyote hard. Coyote took off down in the woods, heard him crash three or four times, and I know he laid down and died. Uh, but it was so thick down in there, and he made it onto somebody else's property that um, I just didn't fool with. I went back and tried to go one time, but I just didn't want to go through all the briars and stuff he went through. Uh, but the main thing is what I'm using. Now that is a cheap three to nine by 40 scope uh, that actually came on a gamo air rifle. And for 22s and nine millimeter rifle, low, low recoil things, that scope is good. I really like that scope. So that's why I put it on this setup. But the ammo, I'm talking about ammo. I've only seen one video somebody put on YouTube using this rifle on a deer and he said that uh, his issue was a uh, not a very big blood trail, and um, he went through double lung, I believe. But he was shooting just standard 115 grain hollow points. Why not do like I do and maximize the capability of that rifle and shoot Hornady's American Gunner 124 grain plus P hollow points? That is what I used on this deer, and the reason I say that is because a 80 yard shot to the head, that bullet did not exit. It delivered everything right there. Now, I'm not using uh, this gun for really anything over 100 yards. Now that I know that I've got a head shot that stopped that bullet at 80 yards, uh, I'm not going to say I wouldn't shoot one in the body. At 100 yards, I'm just gonna go ahead and have to have that conversation with myself before I do it that it may not exit. It might not exit the other side and give me the blood trail I'm wanting. Um, but the funny thing is, is I've I've taken body shots with deer with certain cartridges and taken head shots, and the funny thing about that head is it just seems to be a little tougher sometimes. It don't always make it out the other side. But 80 yard shot, 9 millimeter carbine, within a quarter of an inch of where I was aiming and that, that could have been me breathing and jitters and everything else. But that rifle right there, that's that's a cheap hunting rifle and the reason I'm not saying it's cheap to buy, I've had this thing a while, ammo's cheap. <clears throat> that plus P ammo I bought comes in a pack of 25 and I found it on sale for about $22 a box. And I get it that's close to a dollar a round for 9mm, but look at your really good hunting ammo right now. That stuff for a 20, 20 round pack is running sometimes $30, $40 because of the ammo craziness right now. Another thing I like about that rifle is I'm loading up pistol mags that go with my Glock and where I'm hunting has hogs. So if I have a pack of hogs come through, I've got a pretty good option for, for spraying. But anyway... I've been curious about this rifle here on a deer for a long time. This was my first opportunity with it, and I'm very happy. Y'all have a good one.